Hello, right, welcome to paper free. Okay, so we're moving on to paper free now. Now this will be web um, development, so it says create and, um, and save a, f a word process document called evidence, which you will use during your examination. So here's my word process document coming up. And I suggest you do do these things first. Don't mess it back with them later. So file, save as, going to put them in my past year 11 past papers file. There we go, June 2012 files. I'm just going to drop it in here for me. Evidence. Save. Okay, and Oops. right, and um, then it says place your center number, candidate number at the header, uh, name of your page in the header. Okay, so I'm just going to click up the top here. I'm going to put name, candidate. And center number. There we go. Okay, so we're going to use this for the examination. So it's saved now. That's done. Now it says create new folders called Web31 and SS31 in your area. Right, so like I said, I'm going to imagine my, my area is basically where I saved my past paper stuff. Obviously, for you, it's probably going to be my documents in your examination login. So, right. Um, Web 31. And it is important you save your stuff in there because when you do the CSS, they're going to read it from the file path. So don't think you can cheat your way out of it because you can't. Right, so um, we don't need to go. I, I've um, already put this stuff on Moodle for my students and for the rest of the students around the world. Um, make sure you click on the link under the description and you can directly download these files. Okay, so right, save these files into your Web31 folder. Right, so I'm going to go to my Paper Free folder. And I think these are all the files. Yep, that looks like all the files. So I'm just going to expand this. So I'm going to control C, go to files, go to web 31, control V. There we are, done. Right, I'm going to minimize that. Right, download and save the file J21 employee CSV into your S31 folder. So there we are. So I'm going to control X that actually. There it is. Now let's move on. Right, you work for a company called Hot House Design. You are going to create a new web page for a client called Extreme Adventure Holiday Company. Okay, um, I think my class, you may have been through this one before. Okay, at least giving it a go. But it don't hurt to do it again. Okay, because this is a bit of a tricky one. So it's never going to do you any harm to go through it twice um, because you could get a tricky one come up on your exam, as simple as that. Right, so it says open image, J21 back D1 JPEG in suitable application. You will manipulate this image to create the background which will be used to, um, in a style sheet. Now resize the image. Okay, so I think the best program would be this one. So um, I'm going to open it up. No, it won't be actually. Resize the image so it's um, 720 pixels. What I made. To, yes, it will be. So I'm going to open it up in here. So open. So that would be from your Web 31 folder. Once you've found the folder, the um, stuff it's found stuff once it'll open it in there all the time. Year 11.
Okay, and it's called J21 back. There we are. J21 back D1. Open. Right, I don't know what this thing is doing now. Okay, so if it doesn't open in there, then the best thing may be for me to open it somewhere else. Okay, right, to save time, I've just opened up the image in um, Publisher. So what I'm going to do now is the aspect ratio will already be maintained. Okay, so I'm going to change this to what the exam board wants. Okay, which is to be 720 pixels wide. Okay, so the width is here. So I'm going to put in 720 and I'm going to put PX. Okay, so you can see the aspect ratio has been maintained. We need to save that for um, documents, for our evidence. Okay, so I would put in um, resizing image and keeping aspect ratio. And then I'm going to put the evidence here. Okay, because there has to be evidence a bit, so it asks right here, place this in your evidence document. Okay, so there we go. Done. Press OK. And you can see that the image is resized. You can see that it's put it into centimeters here. Now I'm going to save this image as it's asked to save as picture. And I believe they want it to be called um, D2. So it's the same, but D2, and it's a JPEG. Okay, so JPEG. And make sure it's saved in your Web31 folder. Close this, it's annoying me, it keeps opening up. There we go. Right, I'm going to close that. I'm not going to save the publisher file, I simply don't need it anymore. Okay, so now. Um, it says uh, reduce the image resolution if necessary so it is, it's stored at uh, no long, larger than a hundred kilobytes right well we can see how much it's saved as hopefully it won't be stored at any more than a hundred kilobytes so if we go to web 31 folder so the image we're looking at for is the d2 one now so you can see the details right um, right size is 515 kilobytes okay so we need to reduce this image an awful lot so 